How are you? Thanks. I'm doing well, thank you. Thanks for having me. It's good to have you here. You play a, a teenager in this movie, right? I do, yeah, but I'm but actually 22. You're 22 years old. That's all right. You know, I think the kids in 90210 were like 48. <laughs> Yeah, give or take a couple and years. And they pulled it off, no problem. I heard your mom is here with you tonight. She is here with me tonight. Does she so... go with you everywhere? Um, just to talk shows. Just to yeah, talk shows? Just to talk shows. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, from Seattle, originally. I see. So yeah. she... Oh, okay, we got some Seattleites in the audience. That's Either that great. or they're just enthusiastic. And somebody likes Seattle. <laughs> And is she here visiting you right now, or is she moved here, or what? Uh, well, yeah, she's actually visiting me at the moment. I got you. So, Does she stay with you? Uh, she has recently, yeah. So we, uh, I have a roommate, and now I have sort of an extra roommate that I've had for about a week now. Your mom? My mother, yes. How does the other roommate like having your mom in the house? I think he actually likes it quite a bit, he does. to be frank. Yeah, because she is very good at sort of organizing and, like, you know, this, we got Windex. I see. She's We've got with clean windows. She's helping you keep the place somewhat sanitary. Yeah. Is it typically yeah. not clean? It's clean enough. I I think it's clean, but then she gets there and she's like, "This is disgusting." She has a different standard and of she, clean. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. so the, my standard and her standard don't quite match up. But I have that with my wife. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> oh. She pretty... actually said to me last night. She's like, "I want you to look at this. I want you to go in the other room and then walk in here." and look at it. I was like, don't, let's not do this. Come on. <laughs> Just kind of rub your nose in it a little bit. In a way, that's really what, what was going on, yes. You, see, you know what's happening there. Yeah. <laughs> so is your roommate another actor, or is it a friend, or uh, what? No, yeah, just a friend of mine. He's, I got you. Uh, we've, we've actually, this is my first roommate ever, so it's been a bit of like a learning curve, trying to sort of, you know, learn the ropes a little bit. Uh, what um, are the ropes with a roommate? I mean, I don't know. I, it's, <laughs> that's what I've been trying to figure out. But, do you share uh, a bathroom? We do share a bathroom. Oh, that's, that's yeah, been, that's, it's a real yeah, roommate. Yeah, no, that's actually been the worst part of all of it, is that um, he has a big, he's got a large beard, right? It goes oh. down to like here or something. Oh. And so, Every morning uh, when I'm waking up and like doing my routine, I have to just take this like huge lump of, of hair out of the thing. Out my of wife does that drain. too. Yeah, yeah, she's, yeah. She's, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so um, that's my one like pet peeve maybe. Yeah, And yeah. Uh, Out of the sink or the, 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 the uh, shower? Hopefully not the sink. I haven't had to do the sink yet. So it's just the, the shower drain uh -huh. and um, yeah, it's gross. Uh, yeah, that's horrible. It's really yeah. gross. <laughs> uh, whose name is on the lease? Because if yours is, you could probably throw him out. Uh, possibly, yeah. yeah. I haven't thought about that yet. Is it weird to be the star of a movie and you're still pulling your roommate's hair out of a drain? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could say that. It's, um, keeps you humble, for sure. <laughs> like, going in in the morning and just sort of having to do that. This so. might be, this humility might be short-lived, because I know this <laughs> movie's got, like, it's got, like, 90% on Rotten Tomatoes or something People like that. People are it's really like liking it, yeah. Yeah. We've, uh, we've actually been traveling, like, all over the place. I mean, I've been, we've been all over the country, and kids have been, like, bussing in for, like, you know, hours away to go really? see this thing. Yeah, because we don't have screenings everywhere, so they'll be coming in from, like, all over the state. How do kids figure this stuff out before the movie comes out? I don't know. I really don't. It is strange, isn't it? Like, yeah. there seems to be like there's, it's like a, there's a sense that a movie's gonna be, especially with like a high school movie like that. Yeah. And there's nothing better than a good high school movie. Yeah, I think it kind of brings people back. I mean, there's been like a groundswell of support, it seems like, of people that are really excited to, to, I don't know what it is. It's just it's a high school film and coming of age story that we've kind of seen before, but, it's from a new perspective this time. And yeah, people are, are 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 liking that. That's pretty cool, and that's something that you're going to. It's gonna you're gonna carry that with you the whole rest of your life. It's like being in the Breakfast Club or something like that. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm warning you. I'm not really. Ju I'm done. It's just, <laughs> just prepare for the worst. Thanks is what for I'm up. saying. Uh, yeah. yeah. Did you take any of your own high school experiences and apply them to this movie? Um, I did as much as I could. I think every time you just take a role, you try and put whatever experience. What did you put got. in there that you remember from high school? Um, well, I do remember being just totally confused all the time. Yeah. In high school, just yeah. constantly confused, and that's kind of what this character is. He's someone who's just trying to figure it out. He's going day by day. Right. And that's, I think, anybody can relate to that. Yeah, isn't that an interesting thing? I was confused, too. Really, up until recently, I was confused. But <laughs> yeah, you do, you don't know. Like, I didn't know anything at all. No, that's the thing. You really, you think you know it all, and you really have no idea. Even after I graduated, I was like, I guess I should go to college. <laughs> 
I think that's the next step. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's what I learned over that summer. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I'm not joking. That's absolutely true. Yeah. Well, congratulations to you. This seems like a very big deal. Thank you. Yeah. Thank well, you so uh, much. the movie again. Uh, it's called Love Simon. It has nothing to do with Simon Cowell, right? No, no, no. He si is in no way involved in this film. It's a high school movie. Simon's it opens in theaters tomorrow. Nick Robinson, everybody. I am Jimmy Kimmel, and I am not allowed to eat this cookie until you click the subscribe button. So please click now. I'm hungry.